minutes from kickoff. It's Armenia Bielefeld jumping ahead. Massimiliano Porcello with the ball ahead to Delron Buckley. And Buckley strikes the South African with his 14th goal of the season. 1-0 Bielefeld. A little pause for you to show that the play looks onside. Then Buckley simply relaxes from there and fires his left foot shot. Finding some twine. Not long after, it's Nuremberg coming close. Marcus Don heading the free kick wide of the post. Don very nearly, very nearly tying this one up. Instead, he sees his team go down by two. Patrick Oumayela with the header from the corner kick. And just like that, 2 0 Bielefeld, a close shave at one end, a goal at the other. Oumayela just out jumping the defender and then hammering it home. It's his second of the season against Nuremberg. Bielefeld leads by a pair. However, as you'd expect, Nuremberg fights the good fight. And on the half hour, Merrick Mintal is going to nod one in for the visitors. And it is a one-goal contest. Mintal with his league-leading 18th goal of the campaign. Don supplies the ball in, and Mintal takes the space he's given, cutting it to a 2-1 affair. Lots of opportunity for the top scorer in the league on that chance. Same score line late in the second half, and the visitors nearly tie things. A shot attempt doesn't get through. A second try, though, does. Don shooting and finding the post. The rebound. It's overrun. Hard luck for Nuremberg, leaving them behind by a goal. Behind that is until Roberto Pinto heads the other way on the following sequence and scores. Bielefeld suddenly up by two and suddenly in command. Oh, how things could change in a hurry. Bielefeld moving quickly from their side of half to the other side. Massimiliano Porcello with another good ball. And off to the races is Pinto making it look so easy as he coolly puts it away from the angle. The joy of victory all over Pinto's face as he puts Bielefeld ahead to stay. 3-1 then. 3-1 is your final. Half dozen other games in Chalco's UEFA Cup hangover was still affecting their play. It wasn't until the 31st minute before they awoke from their slumber and produced a quality chance. Milan Kristajic puts a well-struck effort on goal, but Hanover keeper Robert Anke makes the sound save. Another long stretch of deteriorating play was finally revived in the 64th minute as Mike Hanke heads it off the turf and in. A huge goal for the host delights the 60,000 at Arena off Schalke. A massive goal for the home side, and it's Hanke's third of the year. Hanover finally broke free from their commitment to defense and went searching for an equalizer. But Daniel Stendhal's soft header is no trouble for Frank Gross. Stendhal certainly needing to add a little heat behind that effort. Still a 1-0 Schalke lead. In the 90th minute now, even keeper Anke comes forward for a Hanover corner. And watch the best save of the match unfold as the woodwork denies Darius Jarov a last-minute equalizer. And Schalke scraped through with three points to keep the pressure on co-leaders Bayern Munich. Fifth entertained sixth is Bayer Leverkusen welcomed Stuttgart to the Bay Arena with both sides looking for a confidence boost after midweek defeats in the Champions League. It wasn't until the 80th minute before the deadlock was broken. The ball deflects into the path of Dimitar Berbatov and he'll fire home past Timo Hildebrand to make it 1-0. Stuttgart drew level in the 89th minute though. Referee Franz Vack awarded a penalty against Bernd Schneider after the midfielder tangled with his Germany teammate Kevin Karani in the box. Leverkusen weren't happy, but replay seemed to prove referee Vax's decision to be the correct one, and Kakao will duly dispatch the penalty to make it 1-1. The Brazilian now has double digits in goals on the year with 10. Leverkusen came agonizingly close to snatching a winner in the dying seconds. A thunderbolt header from Jan Inger Kelsenbracker looked to be goalbound, but Timo Hildebrand makes a brilliant save. The match fittingly ends in a 1-1 draw as both teams remain tied on 39 points in the table.